guys, what's up? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be giving you some tips on how to write your first book. So writing a book is a very, very beautiful and emotionally profound experience. It was for me at least when I wrote my book, Tales of a Shaman in the Making. My book was a novel. I wrote it as a novel and I wrote it as my own story reflected in that novel. So it's kind of like a memoir too. So there's a lot of things to take into consideration when you're first writing your book. The first thing that you need to basically be aware of is that you have to make a lot of decisions before starting this process or before committing to this process in the first place. The first decision that you need to make is if you want this book to be self-published or published by a publishing house. If you want that book to be published by a publishing house, you're going to need a book agent. You can find those online. You can, you know, research a little bit about it. If you want to be doing a self-published um, way of, of publishing your book is going to be way faster. You have to keep that into consideration. It's going to be faster than if you look for a publishing house. If you look for a publishing house, you're going to be sending your manuscript once it's ready and edited to a lot of diff different places and publishing companies. And you're going to have to wait to someone for someone to buy your book or pick it up. That can take months, that can take years, depending on the person. So if you want to really make sure to go through a smooth process in which you write your book, get it ready, send it to print and sell it really fast without having to basically answer onto anybody else. You can do a self publishing. If you don't know what that is, you can just go ahead and research. There's a lot of great resources at heyhouse.com and balboapress.com. I'm going to be leaving the links below. Those are the ones that helped me with the creation of Tales of a Shaman in the Making. And I have only great things to say about them. Like the whole experience was fantastic. So I highly, highly recommend it. I'm also going to be uh, putting the links below to my own book so you can check it out to see the quality, to see the quality of the cover, the quality of the insides, and see if that is something that appeals to you and that's what you want to do. Another option for your book, if it's your first one, is to do an ebook instead. Instead of a physical book, sending it to print, you can actually do an ebook, which is way easier, and it can help you um, to. It can be sold at Amazon, it can be sold at a lot of different um, online retail things, sales companies and websites. <laughs> and basically, whatever you want to do, know that you're going to have to be making a lot of decisions. What is it going to be about? Who is it going to serve? Why are you writing this book in the first place? How long do you want it to be? Um, do you want it to be a memoir? Do you want it to be self-help? Do you want it to be a novel? What genre, genre is it going to fall into? All of these things you have to think about before committing to the process. And even if you're not clear about them, allow yourself to wonder. Allow yourself to wonder and first of all, come from a very humble place of knowing that you're probably not going to know what these things are at the beginning and just do the research that you need to do. I had no idea about anything. <laughs> When I first started, I just knew that I wanted to write a book and I felt like I needed to write it like urgently. Sometimes you're going to feel like that book needs to come through you. And it's kind of like rushing you energetically for that to happen. So if you feel that deep, deep calling, that fire within you to write that book, just research. Know that all of the answers are out there and this is going to be a process that will take a lot of persistence and a lot of resilience from your part. So don't get discouraged quickly because this is a process that might take years and you need to be very, very strong within that intention to make it happen. The second thing that you need to take into consideration is to open space for this book. Writing a book takes time. Editing a book takes time. I must have read Tales of a Shaman in the Making about 22 times or something like that editing and editing, sending it to the editor, finding it, receiving it back and realizing I didn't like the ending. <laughs> Only I can manage to do that, right? And then editing it again and again and again, sending it back to an editor, bringing it back, revising it. You know, it is a process that's going to take time and patience. So create the space for it. Do you have time to write a book? If so, how much? Are you going to be one of those persons who write a book by writing one page a day? That takes 10 minutes, 5 minutes. Or do you need to get away to write your book? I remember when I, the first big chunk of the book, I went out of town 
for two weeks. I separated everything and or I organized my schedule, all of my responsibilities, and took two weeks off just to write the book. I wrote from early in the morning to late at night because I personally like to do things that way. I feel like when I'm focused, I go all in. But obviously, I don't have some of the responsibilities that some people have. Some people have families, some people have um, nine to five jobs, and you still can write a book. You can still write it. It's just that you need to figure out how much time you have for it. Maybe you can dedicate an afternoon a week or a full day a week all Sunday or every single day, three hours or two hours or 20 minutes, whatever it is, just figure out how much time you can dedicate to the book and make sure to commit and to open space for it because otherwise it's going to be very stressful to try to find a way to write it because it takes time. Get support will be my third tip. Get support. So I like to make my life Katie proof. <laughs> my name is Katie, by the way. I like to make my life Katie proof because I know I'm lazy. I know I procrastinate. I know that I get discouraged. I know I get distracted, right? So I need to find a way to do to accomplish the things that I want to accomplish, even though I know that my nature is to do that. So what did I do with the book? I found a book coach, a great, great friend of mine who is very, very professional. And she just made sure that every time I found an emotional block, that I felt confused, that I felt discouraged, unmotivated, and I naturally felt like withdrawing or, you know, separating myself from the book project, she would reel me back in. You know, every single time she would go ahead and, Katie, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. I'm here to be incredibly annoying and make you do what you need to do. If it wasn't for her, I would probably be still writing the book. Because we need support. We need someone to hold ourselves, to hold us accountable for the goals that we have set and to make sure that we carry through. So support in the form of a book coach is great. I'm going to be opening some spaces to be the book coach for other people. So if you guys are interested, I, I have a certification as a coach anyway, but I just want to guide people through the process of the book because it is really, really important to just know that you're going to encounter blocks. You're going to encounter deep emotional, you know, processes being triggered by the book. Lots of fears and insecurities you didn't even know you had that are going to get triggered uh, by the book. And just having someone consistently pushing you to reach that goal. If you don't feel like you need this because you are very responsible, you can get support in other ways. You can get support in the form of research, courses, how to write a book, how to get self-published, how to get published, how to write an ebook. E you can find courses everywhere online. So just find something that works for you and get that constant uh, guidance that you're going to need through this process. Fourth, uh, fourth tip is expect blockages and create a strategy. You will feel blocked. <laughs> Writer, writer's block I don't feel like writer's block is a thing as much as I feel like the book makes you confront yourself and your fears and insecurities in a very you know like straight way you're probably gonna feel confused a lot you're gonna find yourself at crossroads should I do this should I do that should I take the book in this direction should I take the book in that other direction what will my reader reader most like? Um, and you, you're going to know that as soon as you start writing this book, everything's going to go change, changing and changing. Like at the beginning, you're going to have a plan. And then that plan is going to shift like a thousand times. And you need to know and expect this. And you have a strateg strategy for it. So my personal strategy was to, one, when I got motivated, write as much as I can. You know, like when I'm in the zone, don't stop until my body's going to like drop. <laughs> But that's my way of doing things. Because I knew that I feel not inspired usually. And when I do feel inspired, I can like really make the most of my life. Other, other of my strategies were obviously to have the coach to always reel me back in. And when I found an emotional block, I would do EFT tapping videos online. You know, the tapping videos in which you direct your energy through different like points in your body. And that reprograms your brain and reprograms your energy regarding a certain situation so every time i would find myself in fear of what people were gonna say because tales of a shaman in the making was a book where i poured my soul into it's very vulnerable it's it's like it's scary to put your business out there you know when you know your family's gonna read it when you know your friends are gonna read it like there's no place to hide after that if you choose to do a book like i did 
So when I felt scared, I would go ahead and do EFT tapping and bring myself back into my intention of why am I sharing this book in the first place? And by strategizing in whatever way you prefer, you know that you're going to be blocked and you're going to know what to do to get out of the block because that's going to happen a lot, most likely. And well, basically, it is a beautiful process. Writing a book is not only incredibly empowering, but incredibly nurturing and it helps your process of self-acceptance like once you come out of the closet you know in the sense of putting all of your deepest darkest emotions out there for everyone to read it's like you don't have anything to hide anymore and you can like really feel more comfortable within your skin so if your book is going to be something like your story or your experiences or whatever know that it might be challenging but it will be totally worth it and if it is self-help you know like blocks like who am i to say this who am i to share my experiences with others who am i to tell others what to do who am i to give advice all of those things are going to pop to the surface the whole time you're writing the book so once you know this you can really make the most of it by having a strategy so those are my four tips on how to write your first book if you need any help at all i'm going to be also leaving my email address on the description box below you can subscribe to this vid to this channel to receive more info about how to write a book and more resources. Also, visit our website so you can check out our coaching packages to see if I can assist you in any way through this process. And we also have a free printable, so, so you can like download it on your computer, print it at home, and it is basically a form that is going to put everything that I talked about into perspective in one single page you're going to be able to plan how to write this first book so i'm very excited for you to share your message with the world i'm very excited to be sharing this experience with you in this way i'm sending all my love and see you soon bye